Thanksgiving around the corner. And you got to know what to drink. What are the bourbons that you need to have for Thanksgiving that can handle the table, that are really there for you, that will help you handle the people around the table? (laughs) All of it. It's Eat, Drink, Smoke. Great to be with you. I'm Tony Katz. That right there is America's favorite amateur drinker, Fingers Malloy. We we have our cigar reviews. We gave those to you, and you can find those not only on the website, eatdrinksmokeshow.com. You'll also be able to find them on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash eat, drink, smoke. You should be able to get them possibly. I will have them up on the Instagram page, eat, drink, smoke podcast. We'll have them there as well. Make sure you like all these things, follow all these things, do them all, everything that we're doing there on social media. Go to eat, drink, smoke show.com to find everything. We've picked bourbons, three each, that we are recommending for this Thanksgiving. Now, Fingers, do you want to go first? I went first with the bourbons. I mean, with the cigars. You want to go first with the bourbons? Absolutely. Why because not? you are officially the bourbon guy. Yeah, and usually when we, we do our reviews, uh, you know, uh, I always applaud if we've got uh, a bourbon that is over 100 proof. None of the three that I picked are over 100 proof. Wow. Yes. Look at you. I know. With Look the curveball. First off, 1792. Uh, bourbon, the small batch. There you go. I mean, it, it, you're always looking for value. Uh, at least I am. Uh, 1792. Uh, it's it's about 93 proof. Uh, you know, the, the 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 taste notes. You get some vanilla, some oak. You got that spice. Here's the deal, Tony. Twenty seven dollars a bottle. Yeah. I mean, it it's 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 just fantastic uh, at that price. And then moving on, an, another sing, uh, small batch, uh, Elijah Craig, small batch. Oh, nice pick. Yeah. Nice pick. It's, it's 94 proof. It's aged anywhere from 8 to 12 years. Uh, the notes, again, you get uh, you know, the, the oak, uh, some spice, a little smoke. And, again, you're, you can find it for under $30 a bottle. How much? Under 30 Yeah. I mean, you know how it is. I'll tell you something else, too. And, you know, I don't want to totally monopolize the time. But now is the time of year where you start seeing these gift sets where, you know, you go to your local grocery store and you'll see the bottle of bourbon with two nice rocks glasses. And it'll either be cheaper or the same price as just buying that bottle that you normally get. So keep an eye out for those gift sets because, you know, the, the you know, the bonus yeah, you know whether it's rocks glasses or, or some something else that they put in the gift set, very much worth it. And then finally, Tony, you said bourbon. I said bourbon. I went with something different. What? It's Thanksgiving. Everybody's expecting you to bring bourbon because you love bourbon. Throw a curveball. What about three, four months ago we reviewed Bamboo Rum. Nice. Now that's only seventy proof. But it's uh, aged up to 15 years. You get uh, a little bit of cinnamon, uh, roasted nuts. And if I remember correctly, I haven't had it since we reviewed it, but we absolutely loved it. There was a little bit of banana to it, too. You could do so many things with it. You could include it in a dessert. Uh, you know, it, 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 you can cook with it. You know, uh, it, it, there's just so many things with this rum that you could do. And I think it would be a real table pleaser, something different. People aren't normally bringing rum to the table. If they are, it may be Bacardi. This ain't this ain't Bacardi. No, it is not. Bamboo rum, twenty seven dollars a bottle. No, bamboo uh, was it, it was excellent. It was really such a pleasure to be able to try that, and it's something I think of from time to time. And I'm like, I I could go for that. It, it, it works for a lot of settings. I think those are good picks, especially the the small batch uh, was seventeen ninety two. And my list, I also went with the seventeen ninety two, but I went full proof. Huh? We we traded places. <laughs> In this one, and the full proof is 125 proof. Oh, I mean, go ahead, go ahead, fingers from the light. Put my would cigar you, down. Would, you, would you please? <laughs> uh, right there. I mean, the, this is a mash bill that it's it's undisclosed, but the guys at BreakingBourbon.com think it's about 75% corn, and so it's it's just got this this wonderful wonderful uh, uh, flavor to it. Don't get me wrong; it, it's it's got a, a big alcohol nose there, uh, but it's it's got heat and sweet on, on on the palate it just really signifies you know what the meal is over and now you're taking in a whole new way you're taking in a whole new level of 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 a pleasure uh right there and yeah it's about 45 50 dollars a bottle a little more expensive than 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 the small batch but i think that 1792 does wonderful wonderful work but the one that i will most probably go for 
is the Old Elk Weeded Bourbon, which to me, pound for pound, was one of the best things we've tried all year. Now, it's 51% corn, 45% wheat. It is a weeded bourbon, so it's got that different kind of feel to it. You know, weeded bourbons, Pappy Van Winkle. That's what people uh, think of there. But it really just, it, it, it brought a, a, a lot of that, 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 that bit of a maple syrupy going on uh, right there with also a, a bit of spice. It, it, the Old Elk was, to me, one of the more surprising things I've had to taste this year on Eat, Drink, Smoke. It really did take me uh, and, and say this, this, this is special. 92 proof, it's about $65, $70 a bottle. It is more expensive for sure. But if you've got the right people at your table, it is not for everybody at the table. I'll say that. But if you've got the right people at the table and you're not afraid to spend the dollars for those people, the Old Elk Weeded Bourbon is a great, great pick. And I also went in a different direction for number three, but I didn't go with a rum. I went with a rye, mm. as I do the Pikesville Rye. I was actually, uh, I, I hosted a fundraiser for a group called Spirits for Smiles. They do something here in Indiana called Whiskey Fest, and they auction off whiskey. I was auctioning off bottles of Pappy 15 for $2,000 uh, just the other day. It was crazy amount of fun. And then people, there's a whiskey pull, and you can buy things you can rarely find for the, for the retail cost. Mm. It, it's fantastic. And I was talking to someone about how Pikesville Rye is in my top three. I, I think Pikesville Rye is a fantastic, fantastic bit of work. 51% rye, 39% corn, 10% barley, according to BreakingBourbon.com, and 110 proof. I went with the 110 proof. Oh, that's, wow. 100, that's 110 proof right there from the people out of Heaven Hill. As a rye, I think it just stands up so absolutely positively wonderfully as something that shows what, what, what it can bring, what it can offer, what it can do. I am not... A, a fan of, oh, I shouldn't say a fan. I'm not drawn to the whistle pig kind of kind of rise out of Vermont, Pikesville. For me, it's and maybe I got to try them all again, which is okay. Twist my arm. <laughs> uh, it just it brings something uniquely different, uniquely fun. That's ki the kind of thing that I look for in a rye that makes me say, you know what, this is kind of special. It's got that rye spice, but it has that touch of vanilla going on there and 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 some of that some of that fruit that all together says this is perfect and you're like this is different and sometimes you can't put your finger on why it's different <laughs> right but the pikesville rye 50 dollars a bottle it's in my liquor cabinet it's not not even a question no those are great choices and i you know with thanksgiving around the corner uh i'm looking forward to cooking with my bamboo rum i'm gonna make some bananas foster are that's you what, that's what i'm gonna do that's gonna be my excuse like oh i i, I bought this rum to, to don't you to have to light a banana it? fosters on fire Yes. Can you light this? Look at my torch. Yeah, but will it light? I mean, I don't know what the proof is. Well, 70 proof. I got to believe. Well, you also add banana liqueur to it as well. So maybe between, but not, banana liqueur isn't exactly high proof either. Right. But maybe the two together, you'll be able to get a nice little flame on it. I don't think that's the way proof No, works. that's not I how don't, work. Your days as a scientist. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a lab coat. <laughs> I will say that what we're drinking now would also work for your Thanksgiving table. This is Eat, Drink, Smoke.